What's up, people? We're here in Houston with 25 lovely, gorgeous ladies. You know, you know, all right? Is everyone yeah. cool? Yeah. yeah, wicked, wicked. I'm slightly shy. <laughs> don't know, I don't know why. But yeah, we're here in Houston, and we we've, we've like kind of wrote it down to 25. So we're going to pick the 25 ladies here today, and we're going to interview them, go through the ranks, and meet the people um, behind the camera. First off, we started with a round of speed interviews where we put our hopeful contestants under pressure in under three minutes. Each contestant was asked a series of random questions where we put them on the spot to see how they'd cope and possibly crack. Antonia Nyan and Asha. And Asha. <laughs> so, how have you guys been finding the process so far? Yeah, it's really great. Just had a chat with all of the kind of management team in there. It was great. Yeah. And yourself? Um, it's really good. We did like a speed sort of question sort of thing. So, I found that really interesting. It kind of got my energy up. So, yeah. Cool. So, how are you guys feeling so far in the process? Are you feeling like, yeah, I got this in the bag? Points. I feel like I'm going to do my best. I don't have, like, go either way. I'm just going to do my best and see where it goes. If you could choose to call, text or ignore someone out of Beyonce, Nicki Minaj or LeBron James, who would be who? Call, text or ignore. I would call Beyonce. You know about them back in the day. Well, I wasn't born back in the day. You might have been. I wasn't. I'm not that old, Sorry you know. Sorry God for boarding me. I don't quite love about that. You do look like a leader. I am a leader. I'm also a team player though. So yeah, you got you got to do both. We got we got an Olympic boy over here, guys. I live in East London, Stratford. Shall I be looking out for you? Can I get a ticket? Oh damn! Already? <laughs> what <are> you? <laughs> so, what do you what got what, what got you into basketball and um, midnight madness in particular? So that I can get interviewed by beautiful ladies like you. That's true, but you know. Oh, but. We're supposed to be talking about basketball right now. So tell me, what have you got planned for the season? How are you feeling? Are you feeling positive? Do you think the team are going to win? Um, maybe, maybe not. I just got to work on my own game and get ready. But isn't it a team sport? You need to play as a sport. How are the vibes? You work on your own personal things. If you was doing interviewee, you'd be working on your own personal aspects of your interviewee. Right? This is true. This is very true. Okay. What's your name, sorry? Alicia. Alicia. Yeah. Perry. Okay. Hello. 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 I assumed you already knew me. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> and I, I love football. I love football. Um, the thing about uh, basketball, though, is the power and the pace. And I think sometimes football just lacks pace. And I think basketball is fantastic for that. But yeah, it's, I'm interviewing you. I've got one. You there. Do you like basketball? I love basketball. Okay. Love basketball. okay. I'm here with... Shabrice. How are you, how you feeling, Shabrice? I'm good, you know. I'm good. I'm, I'm in my element. I'm in my zone. Like, we've just done our first pass. And I'm feeling like... Yeah. Hi, I'm Esme. I'm here at the Midnight Madness auditions for the presenting job. We're just sitting here at the moment not having a clue what we're going to do. Nobody knows. And we're all coming out of these ideas that it's a prank and there's a microphone and they're, and they're all watching us now. So, yeah, there's lots of things flying about in here at the moment. Cora Dunk, have you got anything that you do to the crowd? Do you show them, like, get Superman out? <laughs> nah, I just get back. No, you just dunk and then go, oh, it's nothing, easy. Cool, cool. Antonia. Antonia. Alicia. And Alicia. How did you find it, like, the kind of mock interviews and stuff? They were good. The questions were hard and easy. It would just be yourself and see how it goes. So you feel like you got this in the bag? No, I didn't say that. Um, <laughs> that should be a tune. Put it in the bag. Put it, put it in the bag. Is it a tune? Throw it in the bag. No, no, the Getting into basketball in the UK, because obviously in the USA it's on a bigger platform. It wasn't hard because I went straight to the national team, so oh, wow. it was kind of like I was naturally really good. Yeah. But I have to say it one more time before we go. Boy, okay, boy, oh wow, I just can't, I just can't wait. I'm Chloe Flowers. You waved them like it was like, like, like on... Hi, Mom. 
<laughs> so what have you just done? Tell us what you've just done. So just now I had to interview a basketballer and basically had to ask him a series of questions just to try and find out a bit more about himself and also just try and get my personality across on camera. Okay. okay. Got, he got skills, homes. He got the different dunks on different yeah. days. He got the different dunks on different yeah. days. Right. How I dunk on a Monday. <laughs> How? <laughs> outside with the ladies and now we're going to do some in the green room see what they're up to try and get some gossip human he won't be nervous but i'm okay i feel okay yeah just chilling in the green room with all the other contestants how does it feel i feel like i'm on america's next top model like everyone's going to travel like okay so like what's your next is is there any like pre like gossip that's happening is there any is there any tension is there anyone you don't like just say it, just say it. <laughs> no, all the girls are good. Everyone's yeah? Good. All the girls are good, yeah. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. My name's Swazi. How you doing, Swazi? I'm very good, Mo. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm very good. I'm a little bit hot. I'm a little bit hot. Um, I had a bit of a long day today, so, you know. Yeah, you and me. Okay, wow. Okay, so here we have another b-ball location. Okay, so do you want to have a this side for me, please? Yeah. Okay, and your name is? Matthew. Matthew, and who do you play for? Uh, my play in Turkey. Wait, it's already in. Alright, well let's get into this year. So what is your role within Midnight Madness? My role is to play. What's your role? To play, yeah? And how long have you been playing? What's your role? My role is to interview you, so I'm doing my role, you do yours, and you tell me how long you've been playing. I haven't been interviewed, I'm just asking. I'm, just I'm playing. I haven't, everyone thinks I've done that. <coughs> no, I haven't. No, no, no. See, now I'm all getting hot now. I'm getting hot and sweaty. I'm shine. Now, you had a lot of views on your video. Yeah. I had like, like a thousand views or something like that. I think it was like 3,700 and something I ended at. Wow. Someone, someone carried those views. I, I was like, I think, I, think it's about, I think it was like 3,792. I thought it was really good. I actually found the, the competition by chance, just by looking on the internet and being like, what, what's out there? And found out so much about Reach and Teach, obviously, but yeah, it's a good thing. Sure, how you found out? Yeah, it's cool. Everyone's awesome. Like, I, I, the process of actually getting here was kind of funny. I tripped over, fell over my umbrella, then got in a taxi because I thought I'd never get here. <laughs> didn't have any money. It was, it was long, but funny. You went to the green room, interviewed the girls just to like get to know them see you know what they're going to bring to the midnight madness table um really cool some really nice people um we we went from talking to why you want to be a presenter to things like valentine's day which was kind of weird i don't know some people interviewed me at times and then um yeah it was really nice to just get to know the people and um yeah